Yeah, yeah, I'm cool. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Um, what's up, everybody? Kutsuki Gaming here, back at it again with another great subscribers quest build. And today, I got asked to do Ned from Ned Declassified School Survivor Guide. So, let's get right into it. Now, um, big, big shouts to my boy Steez47. What's up, Steez? He wanted to see this, man. So, uh, let's get right into it, shall we? Um,. I like this show. I really do. It really takes me back because it really helped me out during middle school. It really did. Uh, the show was amazing. Had some real cool tips and it was really funny. Like, I remember it was really, really funny. Makes me want to get the DVDs of the old show. I really wish they went to the high school, but unfortunately, you know, you know how it is with the, I don't want to say Hollywood, but Nickelodeon shady like that. <laughs> but, uh, but I'll really do. Let's get right into it. I used the, um, the side hair because it's I, when I looked at pictures his hair was more towards that side so I went with that and by popular demand his he always wore like some kind of blue in his outfit it was weird like I every photo I looked through tons of outfits he had some sort of blue so and it was mostly blue shirts so I used blue shirts an orange shirt underneath khakis of course and you know the patented Chuck Taylors that's all I did to make the face is number three with the eyes so that's three with the eyes guys um, four with the nose and I put you know I made him smile and the only way you can make him smile is using lipstick I know oh, he's using lipstick but if you blend it in doesn't look like lipstick does it looks like he's has like some sort of smirk or smile well that's all you got to do his eyes are blue like a darker blue though and he is on the short side he's not short the shortest but um, probably push it down a couple spaces, but not the shortest. So, and he is, you know, he's, he's a little guy. Yeah, he's probably like 14 here. So, yeah. As far as moves goes, um, meteor crash. I, I put a whole survivor kit. These moves help me survive battles. Every last one of them. Like I've, I've, I've been. And no matter how good they were, or we, we fought to a standstill because of these moves, especially this move set. Now, I use Meteor Crash because it's a long attack, and it'll help you out. You know, um, it, people don't like getting hit by it. They'll try to stay away from you. Senko Blast as well. If they know you have that equipped, they, will, they won't be so freely to rush in on you. They'll make you fight them. So that also how you survive. Dancing Para Para is another great move to survive. Instant Transmission will help you out a lot. I wish they would give us that, um, what's that, Goku Black Rosé move. But yeah, that would probably be too OP. Um, you know when you like his like instant transmission, and when he shoots you in the back, uh, super uh, ghost command, uh, super ghost Kame, uh, kamikaze attack. Excuse me. And this does help me because I use this during the raid. This is one of my raid. Um, I need this for the raid. Burning spin also because this is not an attack that you can break by stamina. I don't think because I remember I I tried to super dash into him and it didn't help. So. This is one of those attack people get away from you from. Um, potential at least and a psychic move. That was necessarily not supposed to be there. It was more like an angry shout. But I try to get moves that people would like to stay with. Like if you had absolute zero, I mean a couple months ago, you would have been a pain in the ass. So you can do things like that. Mock dash will help you survive as well. Because even if they're attacking, you'll just fly straight across the map. So that's that was what I was going to add. So... This is a nice survivor kit for you for Ned's Declassified School Survivor Guide. Big, big shout out to Steez. Thanks for the request as always, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace. I just know, like, someone's going to...